So it's finally over. Blissfully. I mean, it's not really over. We're still going to hear about it. For the next uh, what, two months, month, up to the midterms. And then we're going to hear about it for the next two years. Because, you know, after the midterms, the presidential cycle starts all over again. <clears throat> So it's over. Justice Kavanaugh will be sworn in Saturday. And and we're going to continue to hear about it for the next two years. So, now it's time to count the bodies, right? The war is over for now. Until we all find something else to fight over. Time for the devil to get his due. Count the cost. So I decided today, which is the reason why I look so... Just exhausted. Like, I'm just exhausted with it at this point. But I decided to, uh... Check out all the all the the major sources for the opposition. By that I mean I decided to go to the loony bin and check out what all the crazy people are saying. And the leftists fucking pissed, man. God, they're pissed. They're so angry. They don't even know who to fucking blame for this shit. It's Heidi Heidkamp's fault. I don't know why. She voted no. She was in lockstep with all the rest of them. Fuck that bitch. And Susan Collins, how dare she make a speech that, that gets people who want to vote yes for him. Fucking Senator Manchin. Traitor. And Lindsey Graham. What the fuck's up with Lindsey Graham? He used to hate Donald Trump. We all hate Donald Trump. Why can't he hate Donald Trump like we hate Donald Trump? He should have voted no, because it's Donald Trump. And he hated Donald Trump when he was running against him in the presidential election. Now he does, Now he likes the guy. Oh, I know what it is. He's, he's doing whatever's best for him. Fuck. Of course, this is all Donald Trump's fault, because how dare he he nominate a, a rapist for the Supreme Court, because of course he knew. Dianne Feinstein, if only that dumb bitch would have called for a fucking thing when she first found out about it, man, she should have waited longer to, to hold on to it, because then we could have maybe squeezed out another couple of weeks. The fucking FBI, they didn't even talk to Kavanaugh. Or Ford, how could it be impartial if they didn't talk to both people? And and all the the man, the one lady that said, oh, I don't know, I was at a party and I was pretty drunk and there was a fake penis being passed around, but somebody stuck a penis in my face and I saw Brett Kavanaugh at some point pulling up his pants. Who knows when it could have been, though. I don't remember much of it because I was drinking pretty heavily that night. But hey, so was everybody else. And and apparently she got a bunch of people to come forward and say that they wanted to talk to the FBI. Because they were all there that night. Oh, we were all there that night. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I saw him. Brett Kavanaugh, my judge. And <clears throat> How come they didn't get talked to? And what about the girl who's saying, fucking rape gang leader? You should you know, we talk to her. This is an incomplete report. We should have spent at least three more years on it. <laughs> we want an FBI report. Man, this is bullshit. It should be able to be done in a week. Just give us a week. How dare you just give us a week? That's not complete. We need longer than a week. And fuck it, everybody's just pissed. Shame! Shame! <laughs> uh. It's 
children throwing themselves on the ground, pounding their fists, kicking their feet. That's what it, that's what it seems to me. Like I'm I'm actually like at this point, because I mean, through all of this, if you if you look hard enough and look deep enough, uh, you see some disturbing things. And I sit there and go, how did I miss that? And I missed it because nobody cared about it. And honestly, I don't really think it's going to be all that bad. I, I, I don't think that Brett Kavanaugh being on the Supreme Court is now going to shut down the Mueller investigation. I think that would be an extremely poor move. <laughs> I think that would be a Democrat-level move. Like that would be one of those things where you sit on a rape allegation for, for fucking two months and then you just throw it out there and go, oh, well, I, I have had this for months. I mean, I, I, since we're at this point and it looks like he's going to get nominated, I guess I should bring it up. It would be that kind of a move. Oh, they're investigating Donald Trump. So Donald Trump's going to shut the whole fucking thing down. Ah, we don't need to do the investigation. I, I could see him going, look, what the fuck have you got? Like, it's been a long time. What are you doing? What do you got? Do you have anything about what you're supposed to be investigating? Because you seem to be investigating all manner of offshoot shit, which we didn't set you out to investigate. We didn't set you out to investigate every single aspect of Donald Trump's fucking life. We sent you out to investigate Russian collusion. Nobody's talking about Russian collusion, obviously, because we're talking about rape now. And by the way, for all of you who uh, supported Judge Kavanaugh in this, apparently you're, you're pro-rape. We really do have a rape culture now because half of the country is encouraging women to be raped. Men to rape them. Because this vote, you know what this vote says? This vote says to little boys that as long as you have power, you can go rape women. It's another thing I heard. I, 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 I didn't really get that out of the whole thing. Maybe I'm just dense. But I got, if you have something that happens to you, you better fucking well have evidence that it happened. Or at least some sort of a credible and compelling story. I, another thing that pissed me off through this whole fucking thing is just the bullshit. The bullshit of everybody. Every, I mean, I, I get it from the left. They were going to believe her no matter what because it's listen and believe. A woman said something. I believe her. But for everybody else to be sitting there going, well, I found her very credible. I just don't think that it's, it's entirely the truth. I think that something happened to her at some point. But I don't think it was Brett Kavanaugh. Man, that shit was starting to piss me off. I, I, I watched her give her opening statements. Five minutes in, my bullshit detector was just blaring. And I'm sitting here going, I don't know what it is. For whatever odd reason, I don't buy this shit. I don't buy it at all. And as it went on, <laughs> I bought it less and less. Like, so you have a fear of flying. That's why you couldn't come to Washington. Yes, I'm terrified of flying. I had, I had to have friends bolster me to, to get me on that plane. So, okay. Well, it says here that you go to Hawaii all the time. In Costa Rica, and you fly once a year across country, and you fly here, and you fly there. You're flying an average of two, three times a fucking year. So what the fuck? Like, that's some bullshit. <clears throat> the fact that she, being as involved in this as she was, didn't know pertinent information that I knew for the entirety of the time. That the Republicans were saying, we will send people to you to interview you if you would like to do this privately. She had no fucking clue that was an option. Apparently, her name is all over the news, and she never once bothered to tune into a fucking bit of it. Uh, <laughs> I don't buy that. 
I think that's bullshit. And then that's turned into, now that's turned into, oh, well, I thought Senator Grassley and other senators were going to come to my house and I was going to play hostess to them. That's, that's like the new thing that I'm hearing. And how fucking retarded do you have to be to think that shit? I don't know. Whatever. You're not going to get senators to fly across country to come and chat with you about anything. It isn't going to fucking happen. They, they have people for that shit. It, it, just just the, the, the whole aspect of it. I want two front doors. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what does that even look like? Like double doors? Like she want double doors? She's got to burst out of it like it's fucking gone with the wind? But I don't get that. Is there a front door this half of the living room and then over here on this half of the living room? She needs a front door in the living room and a front door in the kitchen. I'm, I'm thinking of every different type of floor plan I possibly could to understand how that would even look. Two front doors. Like I'm looking at the front of houses as I'm driving down the street trying to imagine where the fuck another front door would go. And what? And then we come to find out that it's entirely possible that she was adding on a space to rent out to people and she wanted to provide them their own door and then I started to think that sounds a shit ton more reasonable the whole thing just was bullshit from the start I don't know it's just her demeanor the way that she held herself the whole thing and then I watched the body language thing and I kind of started going, eh, okay, I get it now. Now I kind of, because I, I, I'm a very brief study on that. I've read a quarter of a book on it, and I watched, uh, I think, three seasons of Lie to Me. You pick up some shit, and then you, you kind of start watching the news, and you watch politicians talk, and you kind of go, oh, I saw that. So, I don't know, but, you know, instinctually, we all kind of have an understanding of emotion and how those emotions are displayed. We have an instinct for that. We do. And uh, some of you who are not zealots may have watched her and thought to yourself, something fucking bugs me about this shit. And that's what that was. Your bullshit radar was going off. Mine was going off pretty hardcore. And But everybody's like, oh, I mean, I imagine something happened to her at some point. You know, I, I don't I don't ever hear a woman ever I, I I can't even honestly remember the last time I ever heard a woman say I've never been raped, never been assaulted, never had anything untoward happen to me. Apparently, nowadays, hundred percent of women have been assaulted in some way or another. Like, what, how the fuck does that happen? And then I start thinking to myself, well, how many of the girls that I used to date are going to fucking say, the, oh, yeah, I was assaulted. And it's like, what? <sighs> so, yeah, it's scary fucking times. Um, I won't be going to my company's Christmas party because I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to go to a social gathering where there's women involved. I have too much to lose at this point. I, I, I'm, you know, I, I hope that I've lived a crime-free life to this point. I'll just have to wait until I get accused to find out. But whatever. Never been accused of anything before. So, <clears throat> but, shit. I've got another... Ten years or so before I'm going to reach the Kavanaugh level of possibilities. So, I, hey, shit, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen in the fucking future. But, like, I, man, I was, in, I was in the fucking sub shop the other day getting a sub. And there was two girls behind the counter. And one lady who was ordering a sub. And I was the only man. And, dude, I started sweating. 
Like, when it dawned on me, I'm the only man and there's three women in here, I started sweating. Because I'm just looking at these girls thinking to myself, will one of them be okay with not trying to destroy my life? Serious thoughts going through my head. And then I've got people in the comments who make that same kind of comment that they're afraid for their kids, they're afraid for themselves, they're afraid of what random transgression they may have done at some point. <laughs> somebody, somebody at work told me that they, they read a Facebook post that somebody was like, hey, to all the girls I knew in kindergarten, if I like touched you weird or gave you a kiss or something, you know, I was five, I, I don't really know what's going on, so hey, please don't ruin my life. I got a family now. And I'm like, dude, that's that's kind of where we're at fucking at right now. Uh, but people are saying that kind of shit, and then somebody else in the comments is is going, well, if you're scared, then obviously you're part of the problem. And I'm like, oh, I think false accusations in the day of false accusations is a pretty decent thing to be fucking scared of. I don't think that automatically makes you part of the fucking problem. Like, it's just, like, the sense of it all doesn't doesn't register with me anymore. I don't get it. And shame! Fucking Amy Schumer. Sheer Amy Schumer got arrested at the fucking protest. Cop walked up to her and said, you want to be arrested? She said, yes. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, of course you do. Why wouldn't you? It'll get you on the news. <sighs> Mitch McConnell, boy, isn't he a fuck. How dare he say that he wants to fucking have, because uh, apparently he had some other guy that Obama nominated and he held off the vote for that, and that's a fucking shit thing to do too, but I don't know everything that's going on with it because I wasn't as into this shit back then as I am now, so bleh. I don't know, but hey, you know, they're all fucking assholes, every goddamn one. They only, man... It's so full, the whole thing is just so full of lies and deception and deceit. And everybody's trying to, everybody's trying to one-up everybody else. And I want to be the one that, that says the thing that makes the difference. He held me down and put his hand over my mouth and tried to take my clothes off. That'll be the thing that I'll say that'll make the difference. Oh, there's questions about that. Well, I gotta say that maybe he might have possibly put a fake penis in my set in my face, but it might have also been his penis because I saw him pull up his pants. Well, maybe he was just fucking adjusting his pants and it was a fake penis. I, I don't know. I was drunk. Maybe that'll be the thing that somebody will say that'll change the whole world. No, God damn it, it was gang rape. I watched kids light up out of the hallway and he was selling tickets. That'll be the thing that'll... Change the whole world. Somebody will say that this fucking shit, man. Lindsey Graham is shilling for Trump and Mitch McConnell has no soul. And and Senator Manchin is a traitor. That, that'll be the thing that everybody will go, oh, now it all makes sense to me. I am Spartacus. <laughs> it's just funny. Uh... It's just insanity. It's so crazy. I mean, I understand exactly how we got here. It's fucking Obama! <laughs> uh, shit. I don't know, man. But it was interesting. You know? Uh, it had its moments. It was fun at times, and and it was it was mind blowing at others. You know, it's, it's like it's like when when an event happens and you sit there and you go, God, what's going to be the next big thing that people are going to talk about? How crazy is it going to have to be to get everybody's fucking attention? <laughs> well, now we know, and the bar has certainly been raised. So what is it going to be next? 
Midterms are coming up, bitches. Anybody else excited for the midterms? <sighs> yeah. I think, I think, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. All right. For midterms. Because it's going to be so conflustered. There's going to be so much confusion about everything. And everybody's going to have their story and their narrative and their spin. Here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to go with the side that doesn't have people screaming shame at people. That's my new rule. You want me on your side? Better not let anybody scream shame at somebody. Because I just, I, of all the things that I don't like, I don't like that the most. Because what the fuck is that supposed to do? Shame! Shame! This isn't fucking Game of Thrones, you idiots. Why, what, what do you think that's going to do? For most people, like Lindsey Graham, all he's going to do is look at you and go, shame on you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It isn't going to make a difference to him. He doesn't fucking care. And shit doesn't affect him. And then you got the, the Senator Flakes of the world. You scream shame at them. And they're going to go, all right, all right, fine. I'll give you your way. All right, you got your way. Now fuck off. Like, shame. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't, doesn't fucking change anything. Screaming shame at somebody. Because they disagree with you ideologically. Where's the shame in that? How is there shame in that? There's no shame in that. There wasn't enough proof. The polls were wrong. She didn't have a 97% chance to win. She had the same 50-50 that everybody goes into an election with. Right? There wasn't enough proof, because there wasn't any proof. There was some lady saying something about somebody. That's it. Everybody that she said was there said, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. And there you go. There's fucking nothing. And everybody decided to be diplomatic and politically correct about it and said, oh, well, I... I think something happened to her at some point because 100% of women have been assaulted in some way. But I don't think it was this guy at this party at this time. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm not saying nothing ever happened to her. 100% of women have been assaulted sexually at some point in their life. So I'm sure at some point somebody... Honk her titties or fucking grab her ass or something like that. Maybe she did get thrown and locked in a room and, and had her hand over her mouth. I just don't fucking buy that shit. That whole story, I don't buy it. I'm going to be the only person who's going to be a big enough asshole to go, I think it was all bullshit. I'm sure at some point in her life something happened to her that she is going to take as assault. Because apparently 100% of women have been assaulted at some point or another. And again, I just don't fucking buy that shit. This whole thing is hardening my heart to accusations of fucking anything at this point. I want to see facts. You got a video? We can talk. If you don't have something, something that you can show me or in some way prove your allegation... Fucking keep it to yourself. I'm not interested. Because what? And I don't want to be that way. I don't. And I'm not that way when it really all comes down to it. It's just like I'm getting that way. Because I don't like this. I don't understand how anybody does. I don't like this. This whole Inquisition. It's the Spanish Inquisition all over again. Didn't we learn didn't we do this shit already once? Were people tortured and burned? Just confess. Just confess. Just confess and the pain will end. 
And after you confess, we need you to tell us of at least two more heretics. That'll be your redemption. We're going to torture you until you confess and give up two other people so that we can torture them and they can confess and give up two more people. Like, it's just, it, we've been here. We've done this. Clearly, we didn't learn. Maybe we should have considered the Spanish Inquisition something that needed to be revered like we did the Nazi regime. I don't like it. I don't like the way things are going. So if you want me on your side, how about you not be disgusting to me? How about you not shame? Do all that shit. Because that is not winning me over. I don't understand how it wins anybody over. I don't understand how anybody sees that shit and goes, It's my side! <laughs> I identify with them. I just don't like it. The whole thing. It's, it's this weird medieval fucking thing to me. So, that's going to be my rule from now on. The side that screams shame, that's the side that I'm not on. And if people on both sides start screaming shame, then, then I will figure out some other arbitrary means on which to pick a side. 